Hey guys, welcome to the channel and a good afternoon to you. This is Kent Hammer FM and amazingly, Kent Hammer, I'm West Ham manager. You get the idea. We're in February 2027 and guess what? We are in the EFL Cup Final versus Leicester. So chance of silverware, which is always good. Let's crack on, get straight into it. Oh, hang on. We've got the draw for the Champions League is made today. That's good. Let me see if my, make sure my Discord message went. Yep, it did. That's good. We've been seeded for the draw. The champions. Let's start the draw. Dortmund will play Inter. We kind of want Betis, Galatasaray, something like that. Leicester, Barcelona will play PSG, Bayern Munich, playing Liverpool. These are all ones to avoid. Napoli, yeah, I'll take them. Everton, Real Madrid, we don't want that. Milan, Wolfsburg, we take that. Betis, two easy ones. Leicester, we take it. Oh, we got it. Leicester, West Ham. Galatasaray, Chelsea. So there we go. There's a lot of English teams. What have we got there? We've got Liverpool, Everton, Leicester, West Ham and Chelsea, five. I fancy it. I fancy our chances. Weird that we've got Leicester again, though. You know, we're playing them in the... Cup final, but over two legs, I think we can do them. Although they are a good team. Let's have a look. Quarter final draw. We've got another draw, FA Cup draw. Liverpool will play Man City. That's good. We want Norwich, Peterborough, Palace. Okay, come on, the Savas. Yeah, Peterborough. No, Leicester. West Ham will play. At least we're at home. Norwich will take it. We will take it. That's a good draw. They are a premier team. Hey, James, how's it going, bro? Yeah, Leicester was a good draw in the Champions League, wasn't it? They are good in this. They are good. They've improved a lot. But we'll take it and that's a good draw especially with Liverpool playing City the quadruple is still on but it's going to be difficult we've had the results go our way this season more than ever all the other top teams have been beating each other in the league and we've just been chipping away smashing them my uh, policy of buying all the best young players at the start of the game, and now we're four seasons in, that's really massively paid off. At the beginning, they weren't ready, but now they're coming good. Although I've had massive injury problems. All right. But that's the only thing. If you take over West Ham... You always get the stadium upgraded. I've played them a few times. Look at my capacity, 82,000. I'm at the Trevor Brooking Arena, 82,000. So you start bringing in loads of money, but you can't always sign the top players. So if you sign the young ones on the way up, that's the way to do it. Who don't want 300 grand a week. Okay, let's look at this. We're going to do some moving around here. I've no idea what's happened with my quick pick. My quick pick seems to have gone to shit, and I don't know why. Really odd.
doesn't make sense. Why are they not picking the rest of my squad? No, that would be unbelievable. I've, I'm worried about this. Let's reset it. I'll reset that. Yeah, look, it's not picking everybody. I have no idea why. Oh, hang on. No, it's not that. Can't work it out. My quick pick has gone to shit. They haven't even picked a keeper. They're so odd. That has just puzzled the hell out of me. I don't want to rely on quick pick, obviously, but it's just odd. It's a good way of changing it between matches and then you tweak it. I do quick pick and then I look at what they've done and then I tweak it. But for some reason it's gone off. Right. Hey Curly, how's it going bro? I was just having a moan up, my quick pick's gone to gone weird on me. I'm gonna move Coyote over there. doesn't work that doesn't work because he's no 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 don't work we go with that it's the Carabao Cup final I hate stuff and things <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me laugh. I'm trying to pick a team. This is a critical moment. Cup final. All right. Here we go. Who have they got? Oh, Lunin, Livramento, Zabanyi. Regilon, Gravenbach, Almeida, Samaric, Kalimundo. Flipping out. They've got Van Persie and Trossard on the bench. Right. No. Oh my god. One minute in, less than nearly score. I don't like that they're first. They're they're f even though it's neutral ground, they're first. Just give me the first goal. We've got no highlights. I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign. Oh my god! S I knew it. Penalty. Nothing that was, mate. That was nothing. Absolute bobbins. Penalty for what? Come on, Costa. Get me out of jail. Come on, Costa. Oh. All right, we're going to have to do it the hard way. God help us all. I can't really read a lot from that. We didn't get any highlights, but 
I kind of edged it. Can I take off him because he's on a yellow? Pafundi nervous. Masiala nervous. What are you talking about? Can't go mad. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Oh, God. <laughs> well, that was a good attack. Come on, lads. Get moving. Flipping cup final. Leicester are just getting men behind the ball here. Look at them. Boring bastards. Come on, Tell. Tell out to company, the youngster. Can he get a cross in? Kamiri. Oh, what a goal. Now, that was a finish from a real tight angle. I'm impressed with that. Let's watch that again. Tell finds company. I like that. He done a little stutter on him. It's just lovely finish. Left foot. Near post. We're back in it. We're back in it. Ah! Oh. I tell you, I'm not making any more subs. Yamal, who was my sub, is now injured. We bring on Pino. And I'm not going to make another one. Just in case we get another injury. Come on. Here we go. Scalvini. Out to Coyote. Cameri, the goal scorer. Back to Scalvini. Come on. Out wide. Coyote. Can he get through? He's breaking the lines. Cameri, no, he's lost it. Oh, he's done it again. Fundy. It's the post. That was nearly an absolute worldy. That's what we need. Oh shit. Free kick for them. He's left a big gap there. <sighs> Hits the wall. Zaire Emery. He's he's <laughs> he's getting a nosebleed back to Coyote. There's a ball on there. No, he's lost it. Push up, push up, push up, push up, push up. Tell! Yes! <laughs> Come on, you irons. How lucky was that? Look, push up, push up. Loonin gives it to tell. I mean, what was he thinking? What was he thinking? We're switched to balanced. Oh, my God. Okay, we make a sub. We've got five minutes left. Just waste some time. Fundy looks really knackered, but oh, I could put Endrick out there. He's got some legs on him. Or do I bring on a centre back? Shall I be boring? They look absolutely shattered at the back. And I've got Pau Torres. Oh, no. Come on, you irons. Push up, push up, push up. Well done, company. Track back well on Tossard. Fundy. There's a runner. Coyote. Keep going, mate. Keep going. Fundy. Oh. Pino. Oh, 
shit. Oh, that would have been the game. That would have been the cup. Now they're pushing on. Company. Gerhi, come on. Oh, God, he's gone back to Costa again. Go long, mate. No, Pau Torres. Coyote, there's a ball on there. Kamari, great ball. Company. Oh, Tell had the chance. Tell had the chance. Nine minutes of injury time. Flipping hell. Is it Fergie time for Leicester? Yes. Come on, you irons. Silverware. They nearly... Leicester nearly done a dodgy on us, getting an absolutely dodgy penalty in the first half from nothing. But their keeper gave it to us on a plate, Lunin, which I'll be chuckling about for a long while. Have that, Leicester fans. Stick that right up your Gary Lineker's. <laughs> Won't be wearing your pants on match of the day after that, will you, Lineker? Your boys took a hell of a beating. <laughs> Stick to eating crisp, Lineker. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm well happy with that. That was squeaky bum, definitely. But a great second half, really. Some good performances. West Ham celebrate a double. West Ham have won the Carabao Cup and the Community Shield. We've won the two big cups this season. The Carabao and the Community blah, blah. <laughs> it's on. The quintuple is on. Oh, God. Yamal out for three to four weeks. God. That's not that's not a good time in, in on the twenty seventh of February. But back to back EFL Cups, that is the thing. Mowbray sacked by Forrest. Where are we? Collective payouts. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Oh, my God. What is up with the fixture list? Check this out. It's ridiculous. We've just played Leicester. And now we've got Leicester. We've got Leicester again. That's ridiculous. In the Champions League. And then Chelsea, and then Leicester, and then Norwich in the FA Cup quarter-final. The games are coming thick and fast. I do not like my end to the Premier League season either. Wolves away, Man United home, Arsenal away. So we need to have it well sewn up by then, well sewn up. But we've played a lot of the big boys over, over Christmas and New Year, so we've got... An, not a bad little run. A couple of piss easy games. Chelsea, Tottenham, easy ones. You know, a couple of tricky ones. Birmingham, Bournemouth. <laughs> oh dear. Jelly, celebrate with jelly deals. Poor. I'm going pie and mash. I'm definitely. I'm pie and mash. Not, not so much jelly deals. <laughs> West Ham break consecutive wins record. West Ham's 12 games won in a row is a new Carabao Cup record. Yeah, nice. I do like a record. And we've got the goal record, 24, beating Chelsea. New average attendance of 82,625. Wow. Pain up a new record. Five assists. Costa breaks clean sheet record. Three. Three. Anyway. Well, I'm still thinking about them jelly, jelly deals. It's turning my stomach a bit. 
I had a hot chocolate before I came on. I'm like jelly deals and chocolate. Oh, it reminds me of my birthday. I went to see uh, Kings of Leon at the O2. And I smashed a burger at Gordon Ramsay. We had burger and chips at the Gordon Ramsay restaurant. Really nice. And then they had a Five Guys. And I thought, oh, I love a milkshake. And I've heard Five Guys is really good. I hadn't been there before. So I went in Five Guys. And then I had a milkshake. And then I had two pints of lager. Boah. It all started curdling up. I'm telling you. I was sitting there with green faced trying to enjoy the concert my girlfriend's like are you all right are you enjoying it i'm like yeah yeah oh honestly i had the ick all night probably a bit oversharing there but there you go that's my life <laughs> i'm never having another milkshake again i can tell you that it's put me right off If it's a case of no lager or no milkshake for the rest of my life, it's definitely no milkshake. I do like a nice German lager. Evan Ferguson is at Liverpool and got player of the month. God, I bet they paid a lot for him. We are now required to make monthly payments of 2.3 million towards the four, 446 million bank loan. What 446 bank loan? Oh dear, that's not good news. Debts and loans. Oh. The net debt is 1.2 billion. Transfer debt, 582 million. Oh. That's not good. In total, we've got to pay 3.5 million a month. 2.3 million a month. Until 2052. 20, oh, God. 2052. Oh, well. Oops. Erling Haaland. Oh, you think I should sign him, do you? All right, then. I'm going to sack my scout. <laughs> James, that debt is insane, I know. Do you think it's because I signed Tell, Yamal, Musiala, Pino on loan, Victor Oak, Scalvini, Zaya Emery, Diogo Costa... Javi Guerrera, Phil Foden, Stefan Bajic, Endrick, Simeone Fundi, Fresneda, Pal Torres, Coyote, Portelli, Barco, Cameri, Rico Lewis, Gerhi, Adam Morton, and the rest. <laughs> I've even got Levi Colwell. I think I... I think it's because I kept buying players on three-year deals. You know, you like think, oh, I'll pay in the future. Five million now, I'll pay in the future. And I kept doing it. So I better, um, I better cut back my spending. But the pr on the plus side, it's not all bad. Because if you look at the age of my squad, I've only got four players over the age of 26. And I've actually only got one player... 30 or over and the rest are under 27 I mean Foden and Gerhi are my older players at 26 so I think we've really got plenty to build on
Here we go. Champions League. Leicester will be sick of the sight of us. Oh, it's freezing in there. I'm going to put the heating up. Hang on. Well, not exactly freezing. It was 18 degrees. But I've got an aircon unit in here, so you can put it on heat. So I'm going to heat. Okay, let's have a look. We've got a couple of problems with the squad size because I couldn't register everyone for the Champions League. should play Jetic because he's not quite fit fit I think I will give Rico Lewis a run at right back though what else could we do it's just a case of whether Tell plays or whether Endrick plays We go tell. Tell got man of the match pretty much in the last game. Let's see what James says. To be fair, of a team like that, you're spending for the next few seasons should be minimal. Yeah. I think so, mate. I've got to be careful. The last thing I want is the FFP thing. I tell you what, though. What happened was, I don't think you were with me yesterday's stream. On yesterday's stream... West Ham had a takeover. Sullivan's gone. Karen Brady's gone. We got a new chairman in. And the and I was like 300 million in debt. When you looked at the balance, it said 300 million in debt. And as soon as they took over, that debt was gone. So what they've done is they've bloody taken a loan out, a 400 million loan to pay off my debt and give me some transfer money. But also, the second thing they did, as soon as the new board took over... I've just moved to the 82,000 uh, Trevor Brook in Arena. As soon as the new board took over, the first thing I requested was stadium expansion, and they've agreed. So we're going up to 89,000 seats now. <laughs> 89,000 seats. I'm going to be like the biggest, biggest stadium in the whole world at West Ham. 11 I love this game. At least no one has to ask me why I have to play this so much because as a West Ham fan in real life, we are obviously shit. <laughs> so obviously it's nice to be a good team. Although flipping Leicester, I've got our number again. They're one up. This is tricky. You don't want to get battered away. Go on, Phil. Go on, Phil. Keep going, mate. Okay. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what effect the, the, the stadium has or if they'll even fill it. But they've been filling this at 82,000. They've been filling it. Oh. Press. Press. Oh, tell to Musiala. Oh, good save. You use the tactic, then buy the players or design. Um, well. 
I've done a hell of a lot of tactic research. We've got a tactic league that we use. Oh, yes, tell. We're back in. Yeah, on our tactic league, it basically gives us 68 games. So each season is 68 games because it's based on the Mexican league and every team is equal. So I was testing the tactic on that. And the bottom line is, for my FM24, the best tactics have one up front. So one, you know, four, t four two, three, one is, is always the way, to be honest. You can get away with a four, two, 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 or an offset two, but really you're more compact at the back with the four, two, three, one. It seems if you put another striker up top, you're less, you have less control by dropping that attacking midfielder. Oh crap, Leicester are piling on. So yeah, we did, we ran 680, I did 10 seasons with this tactic, 680 matches, and this was the best one. Oh, Tell hits the post. I did used to run a, a two up front. Okay, fairly even first half. We just edged it. Possession wise, we had 62%. That's what I'm talking about. If you put another striker up, you don't boss the possession as much. It's really hard to be defensive at all in FM24. You're better off just being attacking. Right, I'm going to bring on Pino for Fundy. We'll make one sub. Yeah, he's done well. Plus, he hit the post. Here we go, we're back in again. Tell was my big money buy in January. Come on, if we could get a win, this would be unbelievable for the return leg. Foden, no. We go again, another corner. Near post, no. Lewis, no. Lewis should be banned from shooting. Oh, Christ, they've hit the post now. I'm not, I'm not happy with the midfield. Guerrera and Walton are not, not doing anything. This, uh, let's bring on Zaire, Emery, and Bajetic. Hey, yeah, this is interesting. You say about Foden, they sold him to me. They put him on the transfer list for a start and they sold him for 65 million. I paid 65 for him. And the weirdest thing is, the same season, Arsenal sold Saka. And Saka, they, they accepted my offer, Arsenal, but Saka wouldn't come to me because he didn't want to come to a London rival. So Saka went to PSG, but I nearly got Foden and Saka. I just couldn't believe they were transfer listed. Oh, you lucky bastards. Okay, now we're in trouble. I've got two more subs. Barco looks knackered. Uh... front Phil Foden has not done that brilliantly but he says he's fired up who could I bring on Endrick or Kamari
Khmeri. Oh, come on. Here we go. Oh, just over the bar from Scalvini. Oh, come on, we boss this game. Our XG's nearly three. Come on. Jeremy Pino. Oh. 22 shots, 11 on target. Come on. Come on. Oh, they've gone long. Go. No, 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 no. No! Demand more. Have they got three? They got three goals from four smegging shots. Three goals from four shots. We've had 12 on target. <gasps> that Carabao Cup win is not looking as good anymore, is it? We need one. We need one. Lewis, no. Guys, we need one. Oh, they're, play they're trying to time waste tosses. Push, push. Scalvini, two minutes to go. He's gone long for Pino. Till! Come on, you irons! Don't you effing VAR me. I will literally stick the monitor up your jacksy. It's a goal. It's a goal. It's a goal. Tell. Oh, we are back in. We are back in. We are back in. Costa. Costa gets a 5.8 in goal. Honestly, I may as well have just had nobody in goal, quite frankly. Although that would have been five. No, never mind. 24 shots, 13 on target, 3.7 XG, 59% possession. And Costa had an absolute stinker. Tell got us out of trouble. Leicester, Lunin. Got an 8.2 in goal. Hmm. Great. All right. We'll take it. We'll take it. One goal down. We've basically got to beat them. 2 0 at home. Really? It's a funny one, this. Where are we? Fulham, Forest and Birmingham in the bottom three. But Leicester, a 17th. Look at that. Leicester, 17th. 1-6, lost 13. They could actually go down. No, actually, no. They've got... Wow, why have they got so many games in hand? They've only played 25. Everyone else has played 29. Forget that. But still, they are down there.
I'm really glad I didn't have to stick that monitor up his jack C. Okay, now we've got, this is brutal. Now we've got Chelsea in the league. If we look at the schedule, that's the first game we've lost for ages and ages and ages. You have to go all the way back to Chelsea away in November. Right, so we've got Chelsea at home and then we've got the Champions League on Wednesday, but there's nothing I can do. I've got to, I've got to put. A, I could put. I suppose I could put a, a weakened team out against Chelsea. Right, the club's directors inform you that a short list of four possible affiliate clubs have been drawn up. Although the final decision will be made by the board, they're keen to consider any recommendations. Wimbledon, Barnsley, Bromley, Barnet. Wimbledon a sixth in League One. Barnsley a twenty fourth in the championship, but championship that'd be they look like they're going down big time. Bromley are in the Vanarama National League and Barnet are in the Vanarama National League. It's got to be Wimbledon or Barnsley. Wimbledon. Wimbledon have got a chance of promotion up to the championship. It would be a good place to send. So we go with Wimbledon just because they've got the football manager shirts. Epic. Love that shirt. Oh, it's different amounts of money. Right, what will we be able to do? West Ham will be able to send players on loan to AFC Wimbledon. They have no obligation to play them and they may be recalled by West Ham. Playing in the same division will terminate the link. All right, this is good. This could be good. Loan out some of the kids. Here we go, partnership confirmed with immediate effect. But we've got to cover their wages. In that case, let's see who we can send there. We can send him. Oh crap, until the next window. Crap, 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 never mind. That would have been nice. Hang on, are you sure? I thought they could. Nope, next window, that's annoying. <laughs> I'm literally, I'm literally gonna send like about seven or eight players to Wimbledon, like my really good young wonder kids, to see if I can get Wimbledon promoted by sending them my wonder kids. That would be funny. Oh, crap. Wrong button. Right, let's try this again. Okay, we are going to... We are going to put out in fact, let's do pick rotated squad full, but then just put Costa in. No, Foden can't play. I 
could tell he's not quite fit, otherwise I'd play him. This looks good. This is my reserve 11. That's not bad. That's not a bad 11. Try and keep players fit for the uh, Champions League return. Come on. Let's beat this lot. Stick your blue flag up. Yep. Oh, good ball, Pino. Oh, I thought it was in. Thought it was in. At least we're at home. Good ball, Pino again. Oh, Kepa, great save. Bloody Kepa. Pino again. Saved on the line. Oh no, Jackson. <gasps> Good save. Camary charged it down. He's on the he's on the run. Lacey, go on, go on. Oh, there was a ball on then. Still on, still on. Now they've all got back now. Ah, oh, there was there was a ball there. Every player they've got, it costs like 100 million. No! Well done, Costa. Company to Wharton, come on. Pajetti. Oh, my God. Double block from Fadiga. Oh, great ball. Yes. Shea Lacey. First goal he, on his debut. Picked him up in the transfer window from mm, Man United, I think. He's not going to get many games. Oh, no. No, 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 no. <sighs> well, we held on to the lead for one minute. <laughs> one smegging minute. Again, dominated 2.78 XG.
I don't want to go mad on the subs yet. Let's see what happens. I've got a few big boys I can bring on. Camari, yeah, back to company. Camari, wall. Dig it. Oh, lovely finish. Adam Walton, second of the season. Let's look at that again. It's just a nice hit, that. Oh, great ball, Endrick. Oh, Kepa. What's up with Kepa? He's meant to be rubbish. He's kept a minute. Oh, my God. How many, how many chances headed over the bar? I am going to make some changes. Fundy for Lacey. Hendrick's not done brilliant. So we're going to bring on Tell for the final 20 odd. Camary is not done brilliantly. Go there. Coyote. Okay, I'll keep one. I'll hold one back. Puffundi with the corner. Oh, I thought it was in. How Torres has headed about five over the bar. Guerrera to no one. What was that? It's a bit scrappy, to say the least. Oh. Palmer to Anthony, absolute bell end. I've got one more sub. Masiala. Pino. Come on. Cody. No, mate. No, mate. Ah, oh, we've been FM'd here. Thirty shots, an XG of four. <sighs> I 
There's no way they deserved that. We battered them and it ended up 2 all. 32 shots, 16 on target. 13 corners. Normally good on corners. Azabalaga gets an 8 in goal for Chelsea. That's proving the difference in the last couple of games. Opposition goalkeepers keep having worldies against me. Bloody annoying. Man City beat Arsenal, so they've moved up to second place. We're 12 clear. Chelsea are our bogey team. Clubs directors has informed of a short list of three possible affiliate clubs. Perth Glory, St. Louis City and Sydney FC. Oops, I've got my own voice coming back to me because I just put the stream on my phone. Right, Perth Glory. That's a long way to send players. Or maybe it's not that type of deal. But they haven't got any players. They don't seem very good. St. Louis City, SC, Major League. That might be good. Or Sydney FC, 45,000 capacity. No, nah, they've got no one who's worth any money at all. I'm going to go with St. Louis. Hang on. Du -du -du. Provide commercial benefits and strong market opportunities in Australia. I'm going to go with St. Louis. I don't know what good that link up will really do, to be honest. Partnership. Oh, well, it gives us some kind of presence in the US. All right, so we have got the Champions League round of 16 home game. And we're on a little run where we've gone two without a win, which is unheard of.
come on, man. 3-2 down from the first leg. Leicester. Leicester. They shouldn't be anywhere close to us. Okay, we've got Guerrero and Bajetic back. We're looking good. I never quite know who my best right back is. Possibly Coyote. Or is it Rico Lewis? Roke is nowhere near fit enough to be, he shouldn't even really be on the bench. Okay, here we go. Pray for me. We're a goal down. First goal is so important, I can't say. We do our own one. Come on, you irons. I put my, my lucky fimble on. <laughs> no, for God's sake. No, no. Offside. Good ball. No, couldn't get on it. Lewis, Masiala, Foden. Come on, mate. Oh, yes. Falls to Fundy. We'll take it. <sighs> Three all. The dream is on. Okay, one nil half time. Come on. Need one goal. Oh dear, I've got it back, Gerhi, and they've got it back, God it's scrappy, Scalvini, Tobacco, oh dear, oh no, no, please be offside.
Oh, well done, Tell. Such a great return ball. Oh, Javi Guerrero, take a bow. What is going on? Vintage West Ham. This is this is a goal worthy of any game. Bang. Have that. Have that. Alright. Oh, we're two up. I think we can afford to change things around a bit. All right, I don't want to go too mad. Hey, Andrew. I'm not sure really who to take off. Nice one, mate. I'm in the Champions League second leg quarter final, so I'm a bit like nervous at the minute. Come on. Oh, nice. That sealed it. That has sealed it. Well, as long as it hasn't VAR, yeah. Okay. Time to make our final subs. Who are we going to give game time to? Hendrick. Colwell. Emery. He can't buy any of the players you used before. That's funny. Do you know what the real challenge is? Don't buy any players, ever. That's going to be one of my challenges. So you start a save with a team and you never buy any players. So you, when they retire or... You don't sell any either, obviously. You don't sell any. And then... You give them long contracts, but then you just replace with your own youth players. So you can only ever play academy players. And see, see how you do. All right, let's have a look. Chelsea beat Kalatasaray. He likes it, Andrew. Cool, I'm going to do it as well. I'm going to do it as a video series on the channel. Everton beat Napoli. 
Dortmund beat Inter. Liverpool beat Bayern Munich. Real Madrid beat Milan. PSG, Barca. I mean, obviously, you can make it more difficult or hard, depending on who you do it with. I'm not sure what team, because I think if you pick Man United, Man City, Chelsea, it'll be too easy. Especially Chelsea, they've got so many young players. I think you've got to pitch it. Oh, there you're going to go. United, yeah. It'd be interesting. It would be harder at United than it would at West Ham, that's for sure. But on the other hand, if you do United, you'll be under more pressure. You might get the sack. So it'll be interesting to see if you can do it without getting the sack. So every penny you have, you have to invest into the youth, youth academy. But you can't so even sign any youth players. So it's literally they come through the academy or that or that's it but so spend all your money on the longest contracts you can do so you want to get the longest contracts right at the start this guy looks good Matteo De Martino Nice one, mate. So, yeah, definitely look in your youth academy and all the ones that have got potential. Give them the longest contracts you possibly can, the young ones. Otherwise, they'll end up costing you more in the future. West Ham will be a really hard one. I, I might do it with West Ham because West Ham have got one of the oldest squads when you start. They've got one of the oldest squads. So you won't last very long. God, I mean having a whole season with Antonio up front. I mean unearthing a good striker. You'll be fine at United because you've got Hoyland who's really young. So you'll be fine. I'll be absolutely screwed at West Ham. <laughs> it's teams with young players. If you've got young strikers or young players exactly no you are giving yourself an edge no I agree be fun though all right FA Cup now Arsenal Palace Liverpool Man City Peterborough Leicester We've got Norwich. My team is almost, almost picking itself, but I'm going to try and move out. I've got so many players on the yellows. I'm going to give Hendrik a run up front. Spurs. 
mate, yeah. I would rather never play football manager again than being Spurs manager. <sighs> oh. Oh. I'd be literally hoping that we lost every single game and got relegated. <laughs> dear, oh dear. I'd literally rather be anyone else in the whole of world football. Oh, good ball, Masiala. Yeah. Yeah, but Brighton have got Ferguson. <laughs> Depends how much of a challenge you want. With Hoyland or Ferguson up front. I think you should take on the Hammers. <laughs> you got Kudus, who's 23. You got Pekatar, Kudus, Bowen. You got a good three you just haven't got a striker you could play Bowen as a striker oh he's giving us a penalty Oh my god, VAR done me on it. God. Endrick finally scores again. Yeah, Brighton are good. Oh man, I'm busting for a P. I'm going to have to pause this game. I know that's really bad. I'll be back in a minute. I've got to have a pee. Be right back.
And I'm back. Oh, that's better. My teeth are floating. Right, let's get into it, man. We're 1-0 up, first half. Got to start doing better from the corners. Oh, penalty. No? Could have been. Nice. <laughs> Can I make some more subs though? Foden doesn't seem to be able to finish a game at the moment. Comfortable, we needed that. Endrick double. Arsenal killed Palace. Liverpool extra time on City. Then Leicester beat Peterborough. Not going to be easy. Semi-finals, Arsenal, Liverpool, Leicester, West Ham. Dear, oh dear. How is Endrick doing? Oh, he's doing well. So Tottenham away, and then Norwich again, but away this time. We're getting to the business end. Oh, here we go. New intake. 
Richard Wiley, who has the potential to become to be one of the most gifted players to come through the ranks. Yeah. He's a centre half. Very hard to tell. Overall, it's a poor crop, they said. We give talents, sorry, give contracts to these, these ones. Why has he got the old face? Some of them have got the old face at pack. And some have got the new one. It's no good, is it? the rest semi-final draw I mean really Liverpool Leicester, West Ham, Arsenal. Hmm. There was no easy draw there, really. Not a lot we can do about that. It's the schedule, though. Ah. <laughs> Arsenal semi-final, literally three days after the Champions League quarter-final. Brutal. Patterson, where is he? Ah, 
Jakobsen. Wiley. Tottenham away in the league, which is tricky. Be awesome if we could keep winning and win the league early and then I could really put out the youth players for the rest of the season. I would absolutely love to do that. I'm almost thinking about trying to weaken a team. But I don't want to end up with Tottenham players in my West Ham team. So I don't know if I could bid for players to encourage other clubs to bid. Yes, Musiala. It's definitely fun thinking what you can do. Like that loan deal I've got with Wimbledon. Next season, I'm going to send them a load of players. Masiala's grabbed another one. Whoa. Yellow cards have started to come. And we've got to respect that. Don't want any slip ups at this stage. Second half. Pfft, Scalvini going all the way down the wing. 
Wow, that would have been something. There it is. I'm going to make my final sub. Uh oh. Nope. I'd already made my final sub. Oops. I forgot about the two I subbed in the first half for yellows. This has been a great win. Really, really needed it. 3 0 away. Tottenham were absolutely gutted with that. We were so solid at the back, though. All of them, boys. Arsenal did win, beat Leicester. Leicester in trouble at the bottom there. I don't think they're going to go down because they've got games in hand. But it is quite funny what's happened. Seventeen matches without losing. A couple of draws in there, but that's all right. Hey, James. Yeah, when you're sharing the new tactic. Well, I was meant to do it today, but I ran out of time. So let's say tomorrow I'll try and do it. What is it tomorrow? Thursday, yeah. I should have enough time. The problem is I always get caught up in, hmm, what shall I do? Oh, I know, I play football manager. Then I start playing football manager, which is not the same as making a video. All right, these games are coming brutal. All right, we've got 48 million in the bank. So we have made a little bit of profit this month, which is good. Profit loss, we've made 75, sorry, 79 million this season. Last season we had a loss, so that's good. Champions League. Champions League draw. The champions. All right. Dortmund will play PSG. Liverpool. We don't want Liverpool. 
Everton. Ha ha ha. Real Madrid will play Betis. We wanted Betis. West Ham will play Chelsea. Oh no, not Chelsea. Not Chelsea. Two all English ties. So there's definitely going to be two English teams in the next round, in the semis. I'm not happy with that. I'm really not happy with that. Does it tell you what the semi-final is? Yeah, it does. Okay, so the semi-final is Madrid or Betis. Hmm. Yeah, Chelsea have been my bogey team. I haven't beaten them. I think they're the only team I haven't beaten this season. But I did play a weakened team against them in the home game. All right, we've got two league games and then Chelsea. Eek. Even Foden's looking a bit tired. I'm going to give Lacey a game. It's squad management at this point. No, but i got to beat Chelsea, man. That's the problem. They've got goals in them. Two yellow cards already. We're not even 20 minutes in. Gotta be careful here. Yeah. Nice. Lacey gets one. He justifies my late selection for him.
offside. Oh god, I've got three yellows now. Let's get through to half time. I'll make some changes. Nice. Barco. 2 0. Okay. Musiala's absolutely shattered. Very rarely do I do that. A massive risk, really. All my subs at half time. But I just didn't want to risk a sending off with like four players booked. Oh, there it is. 3 0. We might get another one here. They've pushed all the way back. Yeah, I had a feeling about that. 4-0. Can't argue with that. Annoying Everton one. They've gone second now. City one. Arsenal drew, so 15 points clear. I think we've got, I think we're good for the title now. Ah, we've got a 14 day gap 14 day gap
Everton so good. Yeah, it was originally a multiplayer save. So uh, if we look at the table, the teams that we had in the multiplayer, I was West Ham, another guy was Everton, and then someone was Leicester, which is why they've got good players, and then Brighton. But yeah, that's why Everton have got, if you look at their squad, where is it? No. That's weird. There you go. They've got Hoyland, Pino, the loan to me, Neves, Olise, Dedic, Diamonde, Apamcano, Gluck, Andre, Adugi, Orestes, Brantfway. Yeah, they've got a good squad. in track All right, guys, that'll be it for today. I've got my dinner at seven. But if you want to join me tomorrow afternoon, I reckon we'll finish this season. Whoops. Thanks very much for watching. Have a good evening. Hopefully my tactic video will go up tomorrow as well. Have a good one. See you tomorrow.